Okay, welcome back to the channel. Today we're showing some work boots sent to me by a company called Icea. They wanted me to show some of these boots on my channel and I'll show them in use. And here I just got them all laid out in front of their boxes and I'll just go through them really quick. Over here on the left, we've got the muck boots. These are for all kinds of really dirty applications, but I'll be using these for pressure washing. And over here we have the men's safety work boots. And this is what I will be using for uh, lawn care, lawn service, lawn mowers, all that kind of stuff. And then over here on the right, we have the women's gardening boots. And no, I'm not going to be wearing those. Today we're going to have a guest on this video is going to be my wife will be showing you those. So here's just a look at them in front of the boxes that they came in and now I'll go through them one by one and show you up really close and then show them in action out in the yards. Okay let's start over here with the muck boots. These are your basic rain boots but quite a bit thicker. Let's look at the sole to start out with there. Look at the pattern on here. Definitely a nice deep pattern for getting through the muck and still getting traction. And oh yeah, you run into crazy amounts of muck pressure washing between dirt and algae and grime and sludge. Uh, you're always walking through super thick and yeah, let's see so somewhat bendable yeah so it should be pretty comfortable something that I noticed good sign is that they're actually standing up by themselves I've been using several pairs over the years and they're usually so flimsy that they fall over or flop over this is a good indication that they're built well over here Thing I notice is that it's nice and thick here. It's like insulated, which is going to be really good for winter pressure washing. Give you a little more insulation. That is about it. Something that I want to point out is that it came with this cell phone case. This is a waterproof case that you hang around your neck. I've used these over the years. As much as your cell phone says that it's waterproof, trust me, it's not. And when you're pressure washing, a lot of times, like if you're in a porch and you're spraying this ceiling, you are wearing a raincoat. And if you have your phone on you, you definitely want it in a case. And so that's nice. I didn't even know that was going to happen. But there is a look at the muck boots. And so at this point, I'll take them out on one of the pressure washing jobs and I'll show you in a minute them in action.
Okay, that worked out really well. I gotta say, of course, I was completely high and dry. All these boots are completely waterproof. These are gonna be waterproof all the way up to there, so you could go into a foot of water and stay nice and dry. But I've gotta say, the best feature for me is the comfort level. Because, like I said, I've got some really crummy rain boots, and for the most part on that job that I was just working on, I was uh, wearing my old boots. And then to film these, I put these on. So there was a dramatic difference between the old crummy boots and these. These are like very, they're contoured and cushioned and you can just work all day in these. And as you saw me in the water there, that tread pattern gets down through the water and gives you plenty of grip on the slimy surfaces. And I had no problems whatsoever. Extremely impressed by these boots. So anyway, let's move on to the safety boots, which I'm going to be using as lawn care boots. Okay, now let's look at the men's safety work boots. Now these are very thick boots. They come with a pair, uh, you know, they're laced up, and then they came with this spare set of laces. That's handy. Now these come in soft toe or steel toe. As you can see, this one is the steel toe. You can't really show the steel toe, but it's in there, and that's important so that you don't have nails and stuff going through the toe. And let's take a look at the tread on the bottom of these. I can pick this up. That's a super thick tread. And it's very stiff, which is good for a shoe of this type because you don't want, see here, I can't even bend it. I'm pressing down. Nope. <laughs> very, very stiff shoe. So you can be sure that it's uh, not going to flop around on you when you're in an extreme situation. Very, very well padded. I noticed in there. And I'll let you know how comfortable they are after I use them. Speaking of which, let's take them out in the yards right now. I want to mow with it and trim with it and go in and out of the ditches and stuff and see how they perform. So let's go there now. Okay, so I know it's a shame to get them dirty like this, but it's going to happen. I just wanted to point out that they do bend once you're in there. You can um, bend them. They are, you know, they've got a good springy, springy action to them. Definitely a thick sole. But it gives you a, a good secure feeling that, you know, nails, glass, something like that, probably not going to get to you. And, uh... They're very, very comfortable. I've been, I've had them on all day. Gotta say, seem to be really, really good. 
And so that'll wrap it up for these. Let's move on to the next pair. Hello, uh, welcome to my gardening shed. This is Mike's wife, Sandra. And I'm um, here to uh, show you my new boots that we received from Hysia. And um, I do spend a little time in the garden and I have to say the shoes that I'm currently using, um, I go through a lot of them because they're not waterproof and um, constantly getting my feet soaked um, because we live in Florida and um, you know the rain tends to uh, leave some puddles in our yard every once in a while and so I'm excited to show you these new Hysia um, half-calf women's um, rubber gardening boots. Um, they do have a lifetime warranty from Hysia and um, one of the things that I do like about it is that um, they've got a good amount of tread on here and um, nothing like getting slippery in the garden. Um, it looks like they're going to be good for that. I usually have trouble finding boots for me because I have wide feet. Um, we're about eight and a half wide to nine. These are nines and I um, have to say I believe these look to be about the right size for my feet so I should be able to be comfortable. Um, the other features that I like about it, obviously you've got some coverage here. Um, to prevent things from going into your shoes because pebbles and sand and stuff usually end up in my sneakers. And we have a nice feature here. They're black boots, but they fold down with a nice lovely floral pattern. And these are adjustable for as low as you want them to go. So if you want to be a little more comfortable and you're not splashing around in the puddles, then you can uh, be fashionable while you do your gardening. And these roll up here. Um, as for flexibility, uh, these tend to bend right around here, which is nice with boots because um, if they're too stiff, it gets to be quite uncomfortable. And they've got some handy straps here, either for putting the boots on or if you just want to hang them up somewhere so they're not on the ground. So, um, looking forward to trying these on, and we'll see you in the next scene.
welcome back. After trying on my new Hysia Women's Half Calf Rubber Gardening Boots, I'd have to say they're everything I hoped they would be. They were quite easy to slip onto my feet. Um, some boots are really hard to get on um, with a little tug on the back strap here. The feet slipped right in. There was plenty of room in there, even with my wide feet, where I could have worn really thick socks. Um, and yet, with the thinner socks, I wasn't slipping around inside of them. I felt very comfortable. Um, as far as the tread, um, these were in water and sand and kicking and splashing around and no moisture made it inside. I was quite comfortable and happy to know that my feet were not going to end up wet by the time I was done. And um, after getting them wet, I was able to walk up the trailer um, with no issues, no feeling like I was going to slip, going up an incline, going down an incline, um, no problem at all. I really like the fact that these are adjustable with how they roll down, and I'd have to say they're something to look at as well. So now we're going to uh, bring in the rest of the boots and wrap up this uh, video by showing you all of the boots together. Okay, that just about wraps it up. We appreciate Hysia sending us all three of these pair of boots. We uh, happy with all three. They uh, performed just like they said in the advertisement, even better I would say. And uh, we're extremely happy with them. I have the direct links to the separate pairs of boots. There are three separate links in the description in the top pinned comment and also the, two, the coupon code will be uh, in both places as well. Uh, we've been happy to show you this. This is Mike. And this is Sandra. Signing off for now. Uh, thanks for watching and have a good day.